The Big Bash League, and this ball is bashed pretty big by Renshaw. Goes into the second deck for six, and this guy, he wanted to catch it. He's like, oh, and the kids next to him, they really wanted him to catch it. This guy wanted him to catch it pretty bad. This guy was like, I, I was going to catch it. This old man, very scared, glad it didn't come near him. She's laughing at him like, ha, 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 you didn't catch it. And this guy's like, I could have caught it too. And this kid, he's screaming, oh, so, so big. I was so so big and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching and if you enjoy these episodes subscribe to the channel i appreciate that leave a comment click like all the good youtube stuff this one's brought to you by DraftKings. let's get into it Dope. Bado. North Dakota versus Montana State tied up at 16 goes to overtime they're all cold they got to stay there Montana says we're going to defend we're going to defend our butts off no first play QB keeper runs it in for a touchdown. That's not a good job by Montana. And look at the hats on this crew. We got beanies. We got scarves. We got hood over hat. And then up top, we got cowboy hat over hood. Cowboy always on top. Ah, coach thinking, all right, that was easy. So we'll just hold them here and, and win the game, I guess. Montana goes fake. It's second and seven. They throw it down the sideline. Five grabs it. Three guys try to tackle them. None of them do. Touchdown. Oh, dancing. We're freezing. We're dancing. We're having fun. We're in double OT where Montana starts with the ball. They punch it in. And now they're going to go for two. Really put the pressure on North Dakota State. Number five's in motion. That's Junior Bergen. He gets the pitch. Looking for the pass. Pulled by the face mask. Flag. Don't care. He's going to tip it right to his dude. Says we practice that all the time. We've just never called it. I don't know if it went perfectly. But they get the two-point conversion. And that's pretty big. Look at this. Pitch to Johnny. But I'm Johnny. Uh, tipped. Right into the hands of six. Right where they wanted it to be. They're up. Now they just got to make the stop. They don't. Everyone's scoring. It's too cold to play defense. Now they go for two. And look at this setup. They're like, oh, you guys think Junior Bergen's the only dude who can throw a touchdown, even though he's not a quarterback in this league? The center, just all alone. You know, a lot of trickery going on here. They give it to number three. He rolls out. He's going to throw. Interception. Game over. Montana wins. North Dakota State loses. She's happy. She's happy. Guy behind her's happy. The other people we saw earlier, upset. That's a game you guys missed. You never planned on watching it. Some of you, maybe you did plan on watching it. Whatever. And as I told you, this episode of Things You Missed is brought to you by DraftKings. You can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MISSED. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly that's promo code missed only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's go to the Women's World Floorball Championship where the best dynasty going right now in sports that you don't know about is happening. The women's team from Sweden, they are a juggernaut. They've won 10 gold medals. They've won eight gold medals in a row, and they're playing Finland in the championship game. And look at some of these plays. Number 11 just steals that one, runs right in. Now watch this. Backhand, hard shot. She's going to fight for her own rebound, get it in the corner, regroup, go between those two, carve in. She's got four people around her. She snipes to go up 5 nothing. What a play by Maya Vistrom. Let's watch it in slow motion. That's the rebound from her sh backhand shot. Now, number two can't corral it. It's bobbling around. And our girl on Sweden, she hits it with the backhand, pokes it up in the air, and then bats it down herself into the corner. Just totally took over. Then sharp turn, sets up the shot. They all try to collapse on her, and she snipes top left. What a play. Put them up 5 nothing. They end up winning 6-4. to four. Finland staged a mini comeback, but that's their ninth gold medal in a row. Rest of the world, figure it out. Editor's note, I like how North American people are like, this isn't hockey, there's no hitting, and, and it's ticky-tack when like the rest of the world field hockey and floorball is the more common way to play hockey, like that spaced-out game. Anyway, moving on, we're going to hurling. Yes, I love when we cover hurling. The All-Ireland semifinal hurling, St. Thomas versus Bally Gunner, and St. Thomas is down by one, I believe. The way you read the scoreboard is, you know, the two is three-point goals, so that equals six plus 19, 25, and then three plus 21, 24. 
they don't do the math for you sometimes. Imagine if basketball scoring was like this. Americans would be so much smarter if we had to do math instead of them just doing the math for us. So anyway, they're down by one, but they got a free shot there. I'm sure it's not called a free shot. Sorry, guys. He puts it in. So now they're tied 25 apiece, and the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, and number 14 on St. Thomas throws one between the uprights up top for one, all right? But there's still time left. He's like, come on, guys. There's still time left. There's still time left. Now, Bally Gunner is going to move the ball to their dude, Billy O'Keefe, who grabs it, corrals it, all right, here. He's got it. He's going to cut in. He's pretty deep and throws that and does it have the distance, and is it accurate? Yes, to tie the game at the very end. Insane play that he was able to pull this off. On the run, backhand swipe got to cover so much ground it just barely gets over that it lands on top of the net insane they're saying this is one of the greatest club semifinals of all time it ends tied so they got to go into a shootout which is wild and hurling you take the slither you bounce it up and then you just smack it and the goalie's got to do his best first one's in next one's in both teams have scored one for one all right here we go, up top, and he went low on the bounce, and it goes through. I think he did. How does how does a save happen, you may be asking. Well, there you go. He tried to go dead center. Dude used his stick uh, and just saved. Probably not called a stick. It's not called a stick. I know that. It's called a hurley. I know that. All right, so here we go. They can take the lead here. Oh, what a save. That's incredible. He tried to go top left. The goalie was all over it. Watch this. Up, whack. Perfect shot. No, thank you. He throws his stick at it, gets it. Unbelievable. So they just keep going. Now that's a goal. So it's tied up at two apiece with two to go. And the dude from St. Thomas is going to simply just smack that one top right. Takes the lead, but this dude can tie it. Number 18, that's got to be O'Keefe, right? And he slips or something. Easy save. I don't know if he lost his footing, if he slipped, but he went down. It was kind of a weak shot. And now number nine, Evan Duggan from St. Thomas, can end the match if he nets this one, which he does low. Green helmet, red jersey, Christmas vibes. St. Thomas have beaten a non-Ulster team in an All-Ireland semifinal, and that sees them through to the decider for the first time since 2019. I love hurling. That's a real fun sport. Let's move on to women's volleyball where the two-seed Texas trying to take down the one-seed Nebraska. And we had a rally that was 30 seconds long, included 30 touches, both teams trying to get cute. That was a straight spike, but it saved. Now watch this. Oh, cute little drop shot misses, gets it over. Save, sets it up. A cute little drop shot. Back row saves, keeps it alive. All right, they set up a good one here. A cute little lollipop that wasn't effective oh smash down saved everyone's trying to get cute right just smash it home guys just smash it home here we go cute and cute wins out the teardrop over the first row in front of the second row nebraska's loving it look at this save which is off her shoulder and up to keep it alive earlier and then you got the fingertip teardrop beautiful stuff from nebraska on that one but Texas did end up winning. They Texas also set an NCAA championship with 12 service aces in this match. So good job, Texas. Good effort, Nebraska. Fun rally. Good job by me. Great job by you. This was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. We thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoy them, you can subscribe to the channel. That helps us. And you can also vote on the fan of the week. You know, dancing in the cold, screaming in the cold, Big Bash screaming in the summer. Proud, proud woman in a, in a red blazer. Firm claps. Politician vibes. You tell us. Who's the fan of the week?